Welcome everyone. In this video lecture, we will solve a GATE 2023 easy question in which we will try to solve a current beer based numerical. So, in this question, a figure is given, a MOS based circuitry is given, and we have to find the voltage VL is how much volt. So, this one is basically consists of a current mirror concept. So, before we will start. I want to show you some brief basics about the current mirror. So, for example, I am just saying this one is say our M1 transistor. Say this one is a M2 transistor. So, I am writing this as a W by L of 2, W by L of 3, W by L of 4. Say this one is our M3 transistor. Aspect ratio is given. Say M5 transistor. Say W by L of 5. So before that, because the first M1, M2, M3 here the term M1, M2 and M3 forms a PMOS current mirror and M4 and M5 forms N MOS current mirror. So first I want to show you what is the meaning of this. So for example M4 and M5 forms a N MOS current mirror. So what exactly it means? So sir, this one is two transistor say our N MOS is there. And for the time being, I am just saying this one is some reference current, say I ref, and this one is some current, say the output current, say I naught, okay. And this one is say our M4 and M5 transistor having aspect ratio W by L of 4 and W by L of 5. So, as per the current mirror concept, this gate, sorry, this gate, sorry, and this drain, gate and drain is sorted. Gate and drain is sorted. So, both the transistor M4 and M5 is in the situation region. So, the I reference current can be written as mu N C O X W by L O 4. VGS minus VT for a square. Similarly, the current I naught in M51 mu N COX W by L of 5 VGS minus VT for a square. Okay, so these two will be same due to this current mirror concept. So one can write I ref. This one is a very fundamental concept. I ref by this one, I know, will be W by L of 4 by W by L of 5. So, this I know value will be I ref W by L of I know value will be W by L of 5 by W by L of 4. The I naught value will be I ref into W by L of 5. So, this one is one concept because both the transistor is in saturation region. This one and this one is the saturation region because get to drain is sorted. Because as we know, why I am writing this value means uh, say the M4 and M5 is in saturation. For saturation region, as we know, VDS should be greater than equal to VGS minus VT. Now, VD should be greater than equal to VG minus VT. So, VD in gate and drain, this gate terminal and drain terminal is sorted. So, both having the cam common value. So, VD should be always in the greater than VD because VD equals to VG. 
so this will follow the this one so it will come under the saturation region so means this current will be if we know this current we can easily find this similarly for the pmos so for pmos i am just making the circuit just for the here also this one is connected okay say this one is our uh, better to write in question it is given 1 milli ampere okay so this 1 milli ampere is given and for the time being i am saying this one is our i1 current and this current should be i2 so again here the gate and drain are sorted so one can easily write the i2 value equals to i1 times i2 w by l of 2 by w by l of 1 is very similar to that one in the pmos current mirror we can directly write i2 value the pmos one okay so this one is our pmos okay it is connected to supply pdd i2 i2 equals to w by l of 2 so i and i1 so if we divide it will be very similar to this one so if we know this concept and even if this one is, if we add one more transistor we can also say this value of this current we can find okay by just making the aspect ratio say this one is our m2 m1 and say m3 so now what we can do we are starting from this circuit this one is 1 milli ampere is given so this one is a drain terminal uh, sorry source terminal source of s2 and this one is a d2 so one can write the value of id2 equals to this id1 w by l of 2 divided w by l of 1 so the id1 is 1 milli ampere this is one id1 it can be written as 1 milli ampere into aspect ratio of 2 10 i1 because if the all aspect ratio will be same this current will be same as that of this one but aspect ratio is changed that's why the current will be changed so this will be 10 milli ampere so the current in this will be 10 milli ampere so similarly this one is 1 milli ampere it should be 7 milli ampere how again this one is our id3 we can directly write but we can easily do like this id3 equals to id1 into w by l of 3 w by l of 1 so id1 1 milli ampere 7 by 1 so 7 milli ampere <coughs> so this one is 10 milli ampere 7 milli ampere id3 id2 okay so it is very simple we can say now this value will be 7 milli ampere this should be 10 milli ampere 1 milli ampere now again now this current the id4 id2 and id4 will be same in this one so one can write it2 this drain current in the id2 and id4 will be same so it should be 10 milli ampere okay because both are connected so the same current will flow okay so now we know this id2 so now this m4 and m5 forms a n mos current mirror for m4 m5 so id5 so suppose i am saying this current is a id5 so the id5 can be written as id4 w by l of 5 divided by w by l of 4 so id4 each nothing but simply id2 the drain current of 
PMOS, it is our 10 milliampere and it should be ID is 5, 5 and it should be 10. So it should be 5 milliampere. So ID 5 current will be 5 milliampere. So now here this ID 3 is 7 milliampere and inside this one there will be 5 milliampere current is in ID 5. So some current will go that is about 2 milliampere by applying KCL concept Kirchhoff's current law. So in this one the current will be 2 milliampere. So the value of VL will be 2 milliampere into 1 kilo ohm that is about 2 volt. So the final answer for this question will be 2 volt. So I am writing the answer for this one will be 2 volt. So better to write only 2 because volt is given. So 2 volt is the correct answer for this question. So basically we have to go for this concept because this M1, M2, M3 are given. So this three forms the PMOS kind mirror. So we know the concept of this I2 equals to I1, W by L of 2 by W by L of 1. Similarly, M4, M5 forms NMOS. So we know the, this concept. So by utilizing this concept, this one is ID1 1, 1 milliampere. So this will be just 10 milliampere. Okay, we can easily find by using this one I2 equals to I1 times so aspect ratio of this divided by this. Okay, 10, so 7. So now this one is same, 10 milliampere current will flow in this one. There will be no change, so 10, 10 will come. Now 10 is there, so then it should be 10 into 5 by 10. So it should be 5 milliampere. So it should be 7, 5. So the in low resistance it will go 2 milliampere. So the overall voltage will be 2 milliampere to 1 kilo ohm. That is our 2 volt. So simply we can find, but we have to know the basic concept of this current mirror concept. So like that we can solve this type of simple question by using the current mirror concept. If the aspect ratio is same, so the current will be 1 milliampere will go here, or a milliampere, 1 milliampere, 1 milliampere, so there will be no current flow. So this should be 0. So but here the aspect ratio is same, so we have to take care of this aspect ratio. This is all about this question. So thank you for watching this video.